Hey, what's happening to you guys? Extreme Plan Sonic here, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be my E3 prediction because right now it feels like E3. Like Sony is dishing out all this trailer, Hellblade, Ratchet and Clank. Um, they are just going all out. It's it's as if they're acting like E3 is this week. So it leads me to think that they've got some major bombs going on for June 16th. Like, wow. Microsoft is also slowly but slowly releasing out some, um, you know, information about certain games. Nintendo is announcing Hyrule for the Ninten um, Nintendo 3DS, um, confirming all this crazy stuff like bringing in the new Nintendo World Championship Tournament. Bro, E3 this year is going to be amazing. I am absolutely hyped for this. Now, um, it's unfortunately that we don't get, we won't be able to hear anything new about Nintendo NEX because that's one thing I was hoping to see or get some more information about it. But it looks like they won't be talking anything about it whatsoever. Um, and by the looks of the way PlayStation is going, they've got some major stuff, you know, <laughs> stocked up for E3. Now, um, for what I want to see is, I want to see, let's start things off with Xbox. Xbox, I want them to talk about games, obviously, but no more of those, I know they're gonna do E, you know, EA Sports and all that stuff, that's a given, they'll, they'll always do that, but at least hopefully they'll minimize the time and they won't, they won't spend like 20 minutes or more talking about eSports, because no one gives a fuck. And also another thing, this is towards uh, Microsoft. Please don't bring any more um, singers and all that stuff. Just waste 10 minutes of my time about a game that probably no one will end up buying. Probably families who don't know anything about games will probably buy this game, but whatever. I want to see more. I want to see more IPs from Microsoft because, yeah, Microsoft. You know, you you you're kind of lacking with those IPs except for um, Sunrise Overdrive or whatever that game was. That was pretty good, and obviously Halo is not a good one. And Rise was a flop to be honest with you, but whatever. Um, also, the rumors going around for a, I mean, no, I think it's confirmed. One gigabyte Xbox One and also a one gigabyte PlayStation Four. So that's perfect for those who've been waiting, you know, to buy one, um, you know, a console. But yeah, that'd be great for me. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up picking this one gigabyte. PlayStation, yeah, they're releasing almost everything this week. So they, they, they're gonna. They, I feel like PlayStation is gonna end up winning this again because they've been really focused in providing awesome games for us as the you know gamers they're like they're really going all out with the whole for the gamers so i don't even know what to expect i want to hear a little bit more about kingdom hearts 3 i want to hear a little bit more on um, final fantasy i mean yeah they yeah, they showed some um um tech demo vlog something i think square enix yeah they released a tech demo sh showing us what they're going to be doing with the animation lighting Yo, Final Fantasy 15 been looking so badass, though. It been looking so badass, we. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Nintendo, Nintendo just needs to step it up at this point, really. I mean, it's a good console. I mean, if you're going, if you're looking for a game that has really good IP, Nintendo is the way to go. But with that little weak ass console that they've got packed in there, it's not really gonna hold up with anything. But um, with the way Nintendo is going as well, I feel like they're going to be dropping some heavy hitters as well that can compete somewhat with PlayStation 4 and uh, Xbox One. So my predictions are really just randomly, but you know, I just want more IP, more new stuff. Like, I'm really done with the sequels, really. I feel like it's time to just move on and just start a new generation of sequels. You, you feel me? And um, and also for other stuff, I would like to see some gameplays of Naruto Storm 4. I'm, I'm not talking about boss battles. I'm talking about proper ass free battles. Showing off the leader swap, showing off the freaking um, wall running, all that stuff. I mean, at this point, the game is coming out probably August, September, maybe, maybe even November. I'm not, I'm not even too sure, but it's coming out soon. We might be able to hear an announcement for a demo, but whatever. Um, there's a lot more things I want to see at E3, which I can't think of right now, but um, E3 is going to be awesome. I feel like E3, this E3 is going to be some, you know, epic stuff going on. What else do I want to see at E3, really? Oh, yeah, I want to see more on Division as well. The Division, like, 
it got delayed till next year so i want to see the progress and how far they're going with that um stuff i want to see a little we've, we've seen enough of batman arc of um arkham knight but it doesn't hurt to see a little bit more of arkham knight another game that i'm actually looking forward to seeing is Balborn. now um this one caught me by surprise like previously i didn't even know about this game about i think a week or two weeks ago but now i'm keeping my eye on that game that game shows some potential it shows to be really fun in my opinion i feel like it's something i might probably invest my time in and stuff like that um also of course how did i forget about this um dark souls dark souls 3 has been rumored to appear at this year's e3 and there's also more rumors about it having a four player online and see that worries me a little bit because as you guys know the previous um dark souls games the online works but it doesn't work in the sense that let's say you want to play with a certain friend let's face it we all want to play with a certain friend i know play through or something like that and spending 30 minutes each time trying to find that summoning sign is a pain in the ass so I feel like if they're really going with a four player online um, feature, please just add in an invite. Just say, just say invite and you've got my money straight on. That's all I'm saying. And um, there's Square Enix once again. I want to see this new um, mech shooter that they're, that they're going to be announcing called Figureheads. It looks pretty cool. And I'm, usually, I'm a fan of, um, you know, mech things. So that's something definitely I'm going to be looking out for. What else do I want to see more info? Of course, Fallout 4. I want to see more about Fallout 4. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'll be the first, not probably not the first, but I'll be I'll be honest with you. When I saw the graphics, I'm, I know I know Fallout isn't about you know the graphics, it's all about that open world experience. But I was hoping that they would be stepping up a little bit from Fallout 3. You, you feel me? Because the, the, the dark texture looks like Fallout 3, so maybe that's maybe that was just a tech demo, maybe alpha alpha beta or something but uh you know I, i'm not really going to say anything but yeah let's see what else do i want to see yeah i i think i want i just want to hear um playstation sony just say that the vita is pretty much dead it is dead we all know it's dead but they just need to say just it's dead yeah that's because yeah <laughs> yeah um because you know the the Vita, it was such an amazing device. It's just they didn't give it the support that it needed. Like they didn't really just bring out the games that we wanted to see. It's like all of the games that's on Vita, it's either a port from the PlayStation 3 or wait, that doesn't make sense. But it, it's like indie games that are just keeping the Vita alive up to this point. And I think the last thing that I wanna see um in E3 is Sonic the Hedgehog. Just a next, a next gen Sonic the Hedgehog that isn't Sonic Boom 2. No, Sonic Boom 2 Fire and Ice is a disaster waiting to happen. There's no way in hell. How? Why did they even do that? Why did they create that game? Why? Why, is, why does a sequel even exist? Why? I just don't know. Um, there's a bunch of games I want to see until dawn. Um, XCOM 2. There's, there's a really there's a bunch of games that I want to see, and of course. With it, it's gonna be it's gonna be indie games. Now I kind of wish because I, last year last year at E3, it felt like it felt like that um the past that wait hold up, it felt like most of the games that they were announcing were kind of indie games and they were new IPs but they were mostly indie games. So I'm hoping that they'll show us some AAA titles if IPs. <laughs> I have some I high demand for this year's E3. Um, yeah, there's also, um, PlayStation's exclusive Rhyme. I want to see Rhyme as well, like, Rhyme looks pretty cool. Looks really interesting, has, like, kind of a puzzling feel to it, so I'm definitely looking out for this. And probably after E3, I'll just buy the PlayStation 4 at this point. <laughs> I, I held back for almost a year and a half, so that, I, I need to pick one up. What else do I want to see at E3? Oh yeah, um, I, I'm hoping, I hope, I'm hoping to see a little bit more of Pokin, Pokin Tournament, which is that Pokemon fighting game. Yo, that looks so awesome. That, 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 that's like my dream come true. Like when I used to play Pokemon Red, I've always dreamt of having an actual 3D Pokemon fight. I know there was Pokemon um, 
Colosseum and the other Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, but no, it didn't, it didn't really hit that spot for me. But this Pokemon tournament thing, yo, uh, uh, in it, it, I know it's gonna come for the Wii U because that would be a, I feel like that would be a console seller for me, to be honest with you. There's, there's, there's so much games that I want to see um, at this year's E3, but um, yeah, that's some of them at the moment that I have in mind. I don't think I can come up with anything else. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to at E3. This was just a video of me just sharing my opinions of, about stuff, and yeah. So yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Um, hopefully, we'll get a good E3. Yeah. I feel like one of the... Um, people Sony or Microsoft is gonna come out with some new device like probably they're gonna announce some um, VR what's that called again that virtual reality device that's you know been popping up recently betcha Microsoft is gonna come up with their own one I betcha Sony is gonna come up with their own one Microsoft and um, Nintendo tried a couple of years ago but I don't think they'll be doing that anytime soon and obviously yeah uh, I don't know. Oh, like the uh, like the virtual reality stuff. I'm not really too much of a fan of it, to be honest with you. But hey, that's each their each to their own, I guess. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.